A journey of a thousand paths. The Camino de Santiago. The Camino de Santiago. Even the name whispers of adventure. It speaks of ancient routes, winding through picturesque landscapes, leading to the Santiago de Compostela Cathedral in Spain. For centuries, people from all walks of life have embarked on this pilgrimage. They seek something more than just a destination. What compels individuals to walk hundreds of miles, their backpacks heavy with dreams and aspirations? Is it the call of history echoing through the stones of the ancient paths? Or perhaps a yearning for spiritual awakening, a chance to connect with something larger than themselves? The Camino de Santiago is not just a walk. It is a pilgrimage of the heart, a journey of self-discovery. It is a tapestry woven from the threads of history, culture, and spirituality. Each step taken, each encounter along the way, contributes to the richness of this extraordinary experience. What do you think draws people to this ancient pilgrimage? Is it the desire to connect with history, to seek spiritual solace, or simply to challenge oneself physically and mentally? Echoes of Faith, the historical tapestry of the Camino. The Camino de Santiago's roots reach deep into history. Legend has it that the remains of St. James the Apostle, one of Jesus' disciples, were brought to Galicia in Spain. A shrine was built to honor him, which later became the magnificent Santiago de Compostela Cathedral. Over time, the Camino de Santiago evolved into a network of routes, each leading to this sacred destination. During the Middle Ages, the Camino flourished. It became one of the most important Christian pilgrimages, alongside those to Rome and Jerusalem. Pilgrims, their scallop shells signifying their journey, traveled from all corners of Europe. They sought forgiveness, healing, or simply a deeper connection with their faith. The Camino's popularity waned over the centuries, only to experience a revival in recent times. Today, people from all backgrounds, not just the devoutly religious, are drawn to its paths. They come seeking adventure, cultural immersion, or a chance to reconnect with themselves and the world around them. How do you think the historical significance of the Camino has shaped its present-day appeal? What aspects of this historical context resonate most strongly with you? Crossroads of Cultures, where languages and traditions meet. The Camino de Santiago is more than just a path through geographical landscapes. It is a journey through a rich tapestry of cultures. As pilgrims traverse Spain, they encounter diverse regions, each with its own distinct traditions, cuisine and language. The Camino becomes a melting pot of cultures, a place where people from different backgrounds connect and share their stories. From the Basque country's vibrant cities to the rolling vineyards of La Rioja, from the rugged beauty of the Pyrenees to the plains of Castilla y León, the Camino offers a glimpse into the heart of Spain. Pilgrims can savor regional delicacies, learn a few words in local dialects, and witness centuries-old traditions still practiced today. This cultural exchange is not one-sided. Pilgrims, too, bring their own unique perspectives and experiences, enriching the communities they encounter along the way. The Camino becomes a testament to the power of human connection, transcending borders and languages. In your opinion, what is the significance of cultural exchange along the Camino? How do you think this exchange enriches both the pilgrims and the communities they encounter? Tales from the Trail Personal Transformations on the Camino Ask any pilgrim about their Camino experience, and they will likely share stories of profound personal transformation. The physical challenge of walking long distances day after day, coupled with the simplicity of life on the trail, creates fertile ground for introspection and self-discovery. Many pilgrims find that the Camino helps them to reconnect with themselves. Stripped of their everyday routines and distractions, they have the time and space to reflect on their lives, their values and their aspirations. The challenges they face along the way, whether physical or emotional, often lead to newfound strength and resilience. The Camino also fosters a sense of community, Strangers from different backgrounds come together, sharing meals, stories, and the challenges of the journey. These chance encounters often blossom into deep and lasting friendships, creating a network of support that extends far beyond the Camino itself. What personal transformations do you think people might experience while on the Camino? How do you think the challenges and triumphs of the journey contribute to these transformations? 
Section 5. The Soul's Compass, Finding Meaning in Every Step While the Camino de Santiago is not inherently religious, spirituality is deeply intertwined with its history and the experiences of many pilgrims. For some, it is a pilgrimage to a sacred site, a chance to deepen their faith and connect with something larger than themselves. Others find spirituality in the simplicity of life on the trail, the beauty of the natural world, or the kindness of strangers. The act of walking itself can be a meditative experience. With each step, worries and distractions fall away, replaced by a sense of presence and a connection to the rhythm of the earth. The Camino offers the time and space for quiet reflection, allowing pilgrims to connect with their inner selves and explore their own spirituality. Whether one approaches the Camino from a religious or secular perspective, the journey often becomes a search for meaning. It is a chance to reflect on life's big questions, to confront fears and doubts, and to emerge with a renewed sense of purpose. Why do you think the Camino holds such spiritual significance for many people? What aspects of the journey do you think contribute to this sense of spirituality? Section 6. Celebrating the Camino, the International Colloquium The profound impact of the Camino de Santiago resonates far beyond the trail itself. To further explore its significance and share the experiences of pilgrims, the International Colloquium on the Meanings of the Camino brings together academics, authors, artists and enthusiasts from around the world. This year's colloquium features a diverse program of events, including lectures, panel discussions and workshops. Renowned speakers will delve into various aspects of the Camino, from its historical and cultural significance to its spiritual and personal impact. Attendees can engage in thought-provoking discussions and gain a deeper understanding of the Camino's multifaceted nature. Beyond the intellectual discourse, the colloquium also celebrates the artistic expressions inspired by the Camino. An exhibition showcases a diverse range of artworks, including paintings, photography, sculptures and installations, reflecting the artist's personal interpretations of the pilgrimage. Additionally, a book fair provides an opportunity to browse and purchase books about the Camino, from guidebooks and memoirs to historical accounts and philosophical reflections. How do you think events like the International Colloquium contribute to our understanding and appreciation of the Camino de Santiago? What aspects of the Colloquium's program interest you the most? Section 7. Your own Camino awaits. A journey for everyone. The beauty of the Camino de Santiago lies in its universality. It is a journey open to everyone, regardless of age, background or beliefs. Whether you seek adventure, cultural immersion, spiritual growth or simply a chance to escape the everyday and reconnect with yourself, the Camino offers a transformative experience. There is no right or wrong way to experience the Camino. Some choose to walk the entire route, while others opt for shorter sections. Some prefer to travel solo, embracing the solitude and self-reflection it offers, while others find companionship in fellow pilgrims. The key is to approach the journey with an open mind and a willingness to embrace whatever challenges and rewards it may bring. So, why not consider embarking on your own Camino? It may be a journey that transforms your life in ways you never thought possible. What advice would you give to someone considering walking the Camino de Santiago? What aspects of the journey do you think would be most challenging and most rewarding for you personally? Section 8. Reflections on the Path. A Tapestry of History, Culture and Spirit. The Camino de Santiago is more than just a physical journey. It is a journey of the heart, mind and soul. It is a tapestry woven from the threads of history, culture and spirituality, offering a transformative experience for those who embark upon its ancient paths. We have explored the historical significance of the Camino, tracing its roots back to the Middle Ages and its enduring legacy as one of the most important Christian pilgrimages. We have delved into the cultural richness of the Camino, witnessing the diverse traditions, languages and landscapes that pilgrims encounter along the way. And we have reflected on the personal transformations that the Camino inspires, from newfound strength and resilience to a deeper understanding of oneself and the world around them. Whether you are drawn to the Camino's historical significance, its cultural immersion, or its spiritual depth, the journey promises to be an unforgettable experience.
It is a pilgrimage that invites us to step outside our comfort zones, to connect with something larger than ourselves, and to discover the transformative power of the journey within. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the Camino de Santiago. We invite you to share your thoughts and reflections in the comments below. We would also appreciate it if you could take a moment to participate in a brief survey about your knowledge and interest in the Camino. Your feedback will help us to better understand the impact of the Camino and to continue sharing its